well, it seems like lion love is in the air, not only on in the Sabi Sands today, but also in the Maasai Mara. Now, I've been told that this is one of the musketeers, and we saw Scar not far from here yesterday, and uh, this I'm not sure which one of the musketeers this is. So Scar could be around, not too far away, if one of his cohorts is cohorting with one of the Magoro females, which I'm not 100% sure on, so I'm still waiting for a lot of the data um, on the lines and stuff like that. I've, I sort of assumed that the Magoro pride, just from the, where their territory is, was an offshoot of the Paradise pride, which generally on the other side of the river. So this is quite exciting that we've caught up with one of the musketeers. Isn't this just too thrilling? Although they are having a good nap at the moment. Now, this could very easily be a paradise female that's crossed the river if the Magoro Pride is, a, is an offshoot. And uh, I'm not 100% sure on the numbers of uh, the paradise or the Magoro Pride. I know for certain I've seen three females together for, on this side of the river. And I've seen nine different females on the other side of the river. Remember, hashtag Safari Live if you've got any questions for us. Oh, I'm just going to say hello to one of our neighbours quickly. Morning, morning. How's everyone doing? Not bad. E nice, easy morning in the morning. Huh? Lions, cheetah, lions, everywhere. So here we go. And remember, this is 100% live coming to you from Kenya. Uh, sleeping lions at the moment, but hopefully they'll get up to something shortly. What's your plans? Where are you heading? South or? Breakfast. Full day. Well, me too. I'll see you around then. Cheers, guys. Oh, we will do, definitely. Cheers. Okay. So here we go. One of the Angama guests out on a full day. James says, are we sure today is not cat today? What is today? I actually don't know what day it is today. Dave says he thinks it's Thursday. Thursday. What, what can we make Thursday into, David? Fur day, Thursday fur day. Well done, David. So, I want to just get my get my binos out and have a quick look around to make sure good old Scar's not about. And he was probably only about 60 or 70 meters from here where we saw him yesterday. But no sign of him so far. Jason's asking, is it Scarface or Scar? Um, I've only referred to him, heard, called Scar by all the guides here. So I'm not sure. Anyway, Scarface just sounds too, too gangster. I, think, uh, I prefer Scar. But I, I'm not 100% sure, but all the guides here referred to, referred to him as Scar, so uh, it might have been the Scarface, uh, but maybe it's just been abbreviated. Oh, he's a beautiful big boy, that guy. Look at the size of those pawns. But pawns, they're like dinner plates. Ginny is wondering, will lions cross the Mara River? They will, Ginny. And actually, the first time I saw Scar and uh, two of the musketeers was on the other side of the river. So this is the, only the second time I've seen them all on this side of the river. Well, the first time I ever saw Scar at this side of the river was yesterday. So there we go. Isn't this wonderful? I mean, we haven't had to go far to see lots and lots today. Well, lots of cats at least. This is our third cat sighting of the day. We had a, a sighting of the Angama Pride, but quite far off the road. So we let them be and uh, decided to just carry on on our adventures. And then we found the cheetah. And now the lions. Marissa is wondering, are there still any mega prides in the Maasai Mara? Now, Marissa, it all depends on what your definition of a mega pride is, I suppose. 
Um, I think the largest pride in the triangle that I know about is uh, the border pride, which is over 20 individuals. Um, I'd say the paradise pride is probably quite big. I mean, pushing 15 to 20 as well. Uh, I haven't heard of any prides sort of over 30 or so yet, but as I say, I've only been here for a couple of, well, two weeks or so, and I'm still gathering all my data, and uh, hopefully soon I'll be able to have that meeting with the, the lion researchers, and then I'll have much better answers for you. Hi, Keith. Keith is wondering, do I prefer uh, to do safaris in the Mara or the Sabi Sands? Well, Keith, it is really, I can't compare the two. It, it, they're very different ecosystems, and uh, I love both equally. But, of course, the Mara is very new and exciting, and I think for me it's just the sheer size that really draws me to this area. Uh, and, and to be able to have 160,000 hectares of traverse is, is absolutely incredible. So I think that's, that's probably the main draw to me. Oh, heads up. Oh, he is magical. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Big fluffy mane. So, I, as I said, I'm not sure which of the musketeers this is. And you can see quite a few battle scars on his schnoz. Hey, big boy. Oh, here we go. Love is in the air. Let's see if it... she's going to be. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Not as interested as he is. That probably means this is quite early on in the in the in the, in the mating. Oh, you might get a smack, Mister. Here we go. And you can hear there are other game drive vehicles here. There we go. Now, nap for 15 minutes and rinse and repeat. Just hang on, Dave. Something's going on there. Those buffalo have just taken off. I'm not sure what they're running from or they're just chasing each other about. Suddenly, half the herd went off stampeding. Sorry. I don't know what's going on. Half the herd seem relaxed and the other half are just galloping. I can't see any lions. But that doesn't mean they aren't. Oh, here we go. There's the rest of the herd taking off now. Something has panicked them. Some of them are running back towards us. I can't see any lions. Maybe they... See, half the herd is running off into the distance back back towards the escarpment. The other half of the herd is running towards us. I'm just trying to see if we can make out a, a kitty cat in that dust and a, a third of the herd is sort of just chilling about, not really knowing what's going on. Morning, morning, morning. Oh, sometimes I might have just been spooked by a single buffalo taking off. Now, here we go. Now there's true pandemonium. You see any lions, Dave? Maybe the third had an argument decided to split. 
Unlikely, but who knows? I'm just checking on the periphery, seeing if there's any lions testing for babies. But it's quite a, quite a strange sight. Look at them go. The front runners, look at them take off there. No, the, uh, further to the left. Oh, we can't get there, can we? We can try. Look at that. Oh, they seem to slow down now. Maybe they just smelt something that was offensive. <laughs> 